Link Basic Info. In the most basic setup, which only supports users and phones that are locally connected to the server, Link needs two servers, an Active Directory server plus a Link front-end server. In order to support users and phones that aren't locally connected, as an example over the internet, at least three servers are necessary. Active Directory, front-end server, and an Access Edge server. The two most common PSTN slash telephone connection options are SIP trunks and IP gateway devices. These devices allow for link users to make and receive calls to regular phone numbers. SIP trunks allow for PSTN access by configuring link to pass all inbound and outbound phone calls over the internet without any telephony equipment. They usually take 7 to 14 days to be commissioned. As an alternative to SIP trunks, IP gateway devices allow for link calls to be connected through an on-premise piece of hardware. They generally have a network cable port and a phone cable port on them. The network cable leads to the link server network and the phone cable plugs into an existing phone line. SIP trunks are more flexible. They allow for connection options limited only by the SIP trunk provider. Whereas IP gateways have a limited number of ports on them and that's the limit to them. Phone numbers are referred to as DIDs. Link doesn't have voicemail on its own. Exchange Unified Messaging does, and the two are designed to work together. Microsoft Exchange Subscriber Access is a voicemail feature that allows Exchange and Link users to check their voicemail messages. Microsoft Exchange Auto Attendant is a feature that answers calls and allows users to speak or type an extension that they would like to be connected to. And lastly, as of November 2011, Office 365 with Link Online does not offer Enterprise Voice capabilities. Enterprise Voice is only available on on-premise Link deployments.